Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I showed you how to set up password authentication to your EC2 instances. So the default behavior where your EC2 instance expects you to pass in a key file, you know, you can also provide a password to log in, right? So we did that in the last video. Now in this video, I wanna do something even cooler, right? So instead of providing a password every time you log in or you know putting in the name of the key file every time you log in we're going to make things a little bit simpler i'm going to be using the terminal on my mac machine to work on this lab but if you're on windows i recommend that you download git bash terminal you can do that by going to this website git-scm.com and Basically what this does is, once you install this on your Windows machine, it will give you a Linux-like shell so that we'll be on the same page. And before I even get further, I wanna quickly show you what we want to achieve on this lab. Normally when you want to connect to your EC2 instance, you do something like this. You choose the EC2 instance, click on connect, um, copy all this, right, this example phrase, copy this, and paste, right? And it will, you'll be given uh, something like this. You say yes, and you should be inside the EC2 instance. But what if you don't want to provide that key every time, right? Uh, what if you just wanna do SSH and EC2 user at that, right? What if you just wanna do this much? without providing the key file. And by the way, you know, this is the DNS name. Instead of the DNS name, you could just uh, type in your IP address as well. All you need to do is to convert this address to IP format. So this is my IP address. So I just wanna do this and I, I want to be able to log into my EC2 instance. Now, the first way, I'm gonna show you the first way uh, to do this you use a utility called ssh-keygen enter and it will generate a public private rsa key pair for you now it will ask you the file name i'm just going to click on enter and go with the default um, it tells me it already exists i'm going to override this for this lab the passphrase i don't want any passphrase for this key pair so just press enter, uh, enter again, and it will give me a set of keys, right? Your public key has been saved in this location. Your identification has been saved in this location. So I have two key files now. And the next step I need to do now is copy the public key file to my EC2 instance. So before I do that, I wanna do this. I wanna show you something. So first of all, I'm gonna log into my EC2 instance like normal, go inside there. And I wanna navigate to this folder. So cd dot ssh, enter. So this is a hidden folder. You can just go inside this folder by typing cd dot ssh and list. And there's a file called authorized keys. Now, if I cat this file, you can see that you know I have something in here, right? I have a public key uh, already appended in this file. We just wanted to look at what's inside this authorized keys file. Now, what I want to do is, just like my last video, I want to enable password authentication in this EC2 instance. And you know, this is a really quick process. All you have to do is to say sudo vim slash etsy slash ssh and open this file. And I'm gonna be, you know, uh, giving you step-by-step -step guide on, um, on the description. So don't you worry about, you know, typing in everything by looking at the screen. I will provide you a GitHub repo with all the steps listed click enter right here it will take me inside the file 
just like we did in the last video I'm gonna search for the part where it says password authentication no I'm gonna comment this line so once I go inside Vim all I need to do is type I to go into the insert mode and I want to comment this line by putting a hash sign and uncomment the password authentication yes this will mean that I can use password to log into my EC2 instance so save with first of all escape and shift and double Z together so once you save the file you have to restart the SSHD daemon so um, sudo service restart sshd maybe tie system ctl okay so do this instead of this or i think you could do if you wanted to use service you say service um, sshd right so these you know they do the same thing in fact this will redirect me to system ctl so you can do either uh, this or this right you can do either one of them or both does not matter so after you do one of them your sshd daemon is restarted now i don't have a password for my ec2 user yet so what i do is sudo pass wd ec2 dash user so I'm gonna choose a password okay once I have that password I'm just gonna exit out of this ec2 instance so right now I'm in my local machine now I use a command to copy the public key that I generated earlier to my ec2 instance so ssh dash copy dash ID and you provide the EC2 user that's the username at and I need to provide the public IP of my EC2 instance and it's going to ask me for the password that we just set up right so I'm going to provide the password oops okay so once I provide the password properly you should be able to add the key and it'll tell me number of keys added is one it will also tell me now you can try logging into the machine with SSH EC2 user at this IP right so you don't see a key name anywhere right a key file name anywhere so once I do that copy and the keys are added all I need to do is say SSH EC2 user at um, the IP address and this is the IP address of my EC2 instance and say enter and I'm taken to my EC2 instance without providing a password now let's revisit that authorized keys file that we looked at earlier so if I um, go to CD SSH one more time and list the authorized keys file and view what's inside there you can see that something else was added to this file right and this is the public key that we generated earlier and this was added when we used the SSH copy ID so this is how you are able to SSH into the EC2 instance without providing a password or key when you type in SSH EC2 user at IP so that's the first way you know that's the first way to do this now we're gonna exit out of this EC2 instance clear the screen go to my dashboard so I'm gonna be moving to my another EC2 instances for this all I do is I copy the IP address of my EC2 instance right this is a fresh instance I haven't logged into this instance yet so once I copy the IP of this instance and I recommend that you use a new EC2 instance to try this after you try the first way so copy the IP address of your EC2 instance go to your terminal and open a file on your local machine 
that file is called config file and it's inside of your .ssh directory. So ssh config. Now I have something in here already and I'll provide you the exact same block that I'm using, right? So once you go inside this file, I want you to paste this piece of text that I will be sharing with you. So what's happening here is I'm saying the host is EC2, right? And this will make sense a little bit later. Uh, the host name is the IP address of my EC2 instance. The user is the username and the identity file is my home directory and inside there the name of the key file that I use to log in. So that's it. Now when you paste this I want you to replace this with your IP of your EC2 instance and this with your key file name right and location obviously. So once you do this I want you to save but I need to make a change because my IP has changed now so this is my new IP everything else can stay the same so save this right okay let's quickly take a look at that file by saying cat now whatever I put after the host word right keyword so EC2 all I need to do now is say SSH EC2 and I'm inside my EC2 so how cool is that that's even easier than the first way right depending on your use cases you might want to use the first way or you know you might want to use the second way sometimes right so you have the choice to choose either of them right you can choose the first way or the second way but the end result is we are inside our EC2 instance depending on the use case you know choose whichever fits your uh, needs but that's it for this lesson if you have any problems any questions regarding this lab please let me know in the comments below let me know if you have any request for a video and before I go I really want to mention that you know this is not just for EC2 instances you could do this for any Linux machine right you could set up passwordless um, SSH into any Linux machine so with that we're done with this lab check out my other videos I also have some Udemy courses uh, you, you're free to check them out I'm gonna link those courses in the description if you browse through my channels you'll see some free uh, Udemy course coupons floating around so you're you're welcome to do that as well if you want I'm gonna see you in the next video thank you so much for watching